Hello and welcome to this demonstration for Artcam Express 2011. Today I'm going to be showing you the Artcam team's top five features with Artcam Express and it's going to have a little bit of an Easter theme. Now if you take a look on the right hand side of the screen you can see I have no modules installed here so all of this is going to be done just using the basic Artcam Express with no modules so this is the 99 parent or 125 euros or 149 dollars version of the software and what we're going to be doing is first of all a bitmap to vector so I'm going to bring in an image and I'm going to vectorize this then I'm going to use those vectors for machining and I'm going to be doing some v-bit carving to finish the piece leading on from that I'm going to create a relief straight from an image and then I'm going to be showing you the relief clip art library and building up a 3D piece using the clip art library and then we're going to be machining that using the machine relief toolpath so I'm going to make a start if I go to file and open and here you can see all of my files for today's demonstration here I have a gif uh, it says happy Easter on there so I'm just going to open that and as you can see it's quite large I'm just going to put the origin to the center and I'm just going to keep the default sizes for this press OK so there you can see it's loaded in my picture into Artcam Express now what I want to do is to turn this into vectors or lines and curves if you take a look down the bottom here here we have the color palette and you can see that although this is a black and white image it has lots of different shades of grey and black in there so what I'm going to do is just click here this is the bitmap to vector tool and I'll just move that out of the way for the moment I'm going to click reduce colors because I want to bring this down to an amount of colors that is reasonable let's say let's bring it down to about six colors let's say and I'm going to OK that so the color that I actually want to create the vectors out of is the white color so I'll click on the white color make sure that it changes to the primary color here and I'm going to create the vectors now I can close the bitmap to vector tool just delete this outside vector because I don't need that and just select all of the vectors now if I use this here this is a transparency tool so if we bring that down and let's zoom in on the the grass here here you can see it's giving me some really really nice vectors and this is ready to be machined straight away so what I'm going to do is just zoom out and this is going to lead on to doing some v-bit carving so this is number two on the list v-bit carving so I'll click on toolpaths and I'm going to click here for create v-bit carving toolpath I'm just going to tab this over to the right hand side so you can see and I'm going to use the selected vectors to do this I'm not going to change the start depth it wants to be at zero and the carving tool I'm going to use a 32 millimeter 120 degree v-bit I'll select that now if I wish to know the maximum width and maximum depth of the cut I'll just click refresh and then it will show me the maximum depth that this v-bit is actually going to cut to so I'm going to need to make sure that my material is obviously thicker than that so I'm going to set my material up and let's say that this is 15 millimeters thick and I'm going to click OK now if I go to the 3D view that will show me the material set up if I click here that will preview the vectors 
it would toggle the vector visibility within the 3D view or I could turn those off if I wish. If I click calculate now this will calculate the tool paths for me for the V-bit carving. So I can close the V-bit carving now. I'll just rotate that around so you can see a little better and I can either right click on tool paths and simulate all tool paths or I can click here to simulate all of the tool paths and this will give me a preview of what is going to be cut. So there you can see that's given me some really nice V-bit carving and in a matter of minutes I've taken a picture and then produced a V-bit carving from that. So that was number two on the list, V-bit carving. Number three on the list is relief from image. Now what you can actually do is if you go to file and then new from image file and I'm going to select this happy Easter picture and I'm going to open it. I'm not going to save the changes and this will open up the picture that I've just selected and it allows me to enter a height in Z if I wish. So I'm just going to use the default value here of one millimeter and then OK that. So there you can see a preview of the picture. Now if I go to the 3D view you can see it's generated a 3D relief for me straight from the picture. So there you can see that that's set at a one millimeter depth. So that's created that relief for me. And I can just machine this now if I wish to. So I'm going to do that again with another picture, just so you can see that again. Go to File, New, and From Image File. I'm going to select this one this time and open that. This time I'll make the thickness a little bit deeper, let's say 2.5 millimeters, and then OK that. And then you can see the image. If I go to the 3D view, you can see it's given me a three dimensional relief ready to be machined. Just to have a zoom in on the cake here, you can see it's maintained all of that detail there. So it's quite a cool little tool there. So that was number three on the list. That was creating a relief from an image. Number four on the list is the Relief Clip Art Library. So what I'm going to do is just create a new model and I'll just use the default values there. And I'm going to open up the Relief Clip Art Library. In Arkham Express you cannot create 3D pieces so you cannot create any three dimensional reliefs. That can only be done in Arkham Insignia and upwards. So that's not available within Express. But you can import reliefs from the Relief Clip Art Library. If you take a look, you can see we have lots and lots of different reliefs available already installed within Arkham. So here you can see we have over 500 reliefs installed of, let's say for instance, animals, crests, embossing, uh, frames, greenery, lots and lots of different pieces that you can use within your designs. So what I'm going to do for this feature is to add an animal and you guessed it, I'm going to use a rabbit being as it's Easter. So I'll select the rabbit. I'm going to center that in the page and I'm going to make him a little bit larger. Let's say about there. And I'm going to click paste. Now, if I go to the 3D view, you can see that that's pasted quite a comical looking rabbit onto the 3D view. Now, what about if I wanted to add something else to that? I can easily do that. Uh, I can build up a part by using individual parts from the clip art library. 
So what I'm going to do is to go into the texture library here and I'm going to use this crumple texture here. So there you can see that that's imported that in. The blue is actually a preview of what's going to be imported. I'm going to press that button there just to center the part and I need to make sure that this is on highest because this is going to merge all of the parts together. So if I click paste and I close the clip art library, you can see that that's added a nice texture behind the back of my bunny. So that's basically the clip art library. What I'm going to do now is to show you how to machine this. So the clip art library was number four on the list. Number five on the list is the machine relief toolpath. So this allows you to machine 3D objects. So if I go to toolpaths and I select here, this is to create a machine relief toolpath. Just tab this over to the right so you can see. And I'm going to do this over the whole of the relief. I could also select a vector. So let's say, for instance, if I wanted to create a boundary to machine, I could do that using a selected vector. Finishing options, I use, let's say, a 6mm ball nose cutter. And the roughing options, I use a 12mm end mill. I'm also going to just change the safe Z and the home Z both to 0 0.1 and I'm going to click to define the material. So I'm just going to add a little bit on here so it doesn't cut through the base. So I'll OK that. Now you can see that that's given me a material block and this is just going to calculate the toolpath. So here you can see it's creating the roughing toolpath and now it's creating the finishing toolpath so there you can see all of the toolpaths in red if I wish to turn one of these off let's say for instance if I wanted to just see the roughing toolpath I could click on the light bulb here and I could zoom in so I could see the roughing toolpath. So I'm now going to simulate this by either right clicking on the toolpaths or clicking here to simulate and this will give me a simulation of what's going to be cut. So there you can see it's created the roughing toolpath and then it's just simulating the finishing toolpath. So there you can see the final simulation. Just zoom in so you can take a look. And all that needs to be done now is to save the toolpath for our machine. So if I click here to save the toolpath, here you can see the machine relief roughing. If I had a tool changer, I could click on that and move the finishing over to the right hand side as well. Select my tool changer. Here you can see I have a FlexiCam tool changer and then I can just save the G code. Move all of those back to the left hand side and I could se select the roughing. Let's say I had a single headed machine. Uh, let's say for instance I had Mac 3. Here you can see all of the posts within Artcam Express. Uh, there are over 200 posts available within there. We also have a generic G code. So here you can see we have G code. That may get your machine running if it's not on the list here. So I'm going to come down to quite a popular one, let's say Mac 3. So there you can see, got the Mac 3 there, let's save that. And I'm going to save that into my Easter Express folder. Let's give it a number, let's say 100. 
and if I switch over into that folder here you can see I have the tap file double click on that and there you can see the G code ready to be sent to my machine so that brings an end to the demonstration so you've seen our top five tools for ArtCam Express so we've had number one was bitmap to vector that allows you to vectorize an image then we had vbit carving which will allow you to do some vbit carving with a vbit cutter then we had number three which was a relief from image so this allows you to create a relief straight from a photograph then we had number four which was the relief clip art library as I said Artcam Express doesn't offer any 3D capabilities but you can import reliefs using the clip art library for instance we have over 500 reliefs within the clip art library ready for you to use and then we had number five the machine relief so this allows you to cut a 3D toolpath so that brings an end to the demonstration uh, thank you for your time and thank you for watching it and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.